Well, while water concerns are growing in southern Utah, the Cedar City Council set to vote tonight on a possible water rate increase for residents. Meanwhile, in St. George, residents, a similar tactic is up for discussion after the city's mayor brought it up in her state of the city yesterday. ABC4 Southern Utah correspondent Jordan Verdadero has that story for us. As the weather heats up in southern Utah, so is the discussion on water. The Cedar City Council is voting on a possible drinking water rate increase tonight. It's going to be a tiered um, increase for our residents as well as our non-residential water users here in the city. Cedar City spokesperson Gabrielle Costello says the goal of the proposed increase is to conserve water as the groundwater supply continues to decrease. If passed, it would go into effect on July 1st. To keep up with operation and maintenance and um, the cost of water and the demand for water with residents um, moving here. Costello says over time, the tier would increase for residents until 2025 and for others like businesses and institutions, it would go on for one additional year. Water was the first topic on St. George Mayor Michelle Randall's agenda in the state of the city yesterday. She pointed to barrels holding a thousand gallons of it. I want you to know what you pay for the thousand gallons of water. A dollar ten. I stopped at the Maverick on my way here and I bought this bottle of water and it cost me $1.84. So when you think about it, you're getting water for real cheap. Mayor Randall says residents need to start conserving water, warning locals of the possibility of raising water rates. We need to start treating our water like liquid gold. Iron County, home to Cedar City, is currently in a severe drought, according to government data, while Washington County is in a moderate drought. Reporting in Hurricane, Jordan Verdadero, ABC4 News.